why can't a lot of y'all and in, in in this regard in you know with tracy walk away from the relationship without trying to throw somebody on the bus you know monica did the same thing monica walked away from i guess her relationship with Corey miller and she just had to throw him under the bus instead of her saying you know what it didn't work out she had to make it seem like it was his fault and then Corey miller responded today by saying he basically echoed what i said in my video he said why why do you have to diss me in order to you know boost yourself up so to speak i'm paraphrasing I'm already fighting for my freedom. Why do you have to throw me under the bus? And all these delusional women are going to eat it up. It's you always notice that women will throw their exes under the bus because they feel like it makes them look good. But you know what doesn't look good is when your new, the new men that y'all date don't marry you. They date you. And then when they get tired of you, they dump you okay every woman claims that they left a relationship it was up to you know why i think a lot of men play games with a lot of you women i really do i think a lot of these men out here be playing y'all i do I, I think a lot of these men out here make y'all believe that y'all were the ones that ended the relationship but in reality they've been wanted out they just made you believe they made you believe tracy that it was you that wanted out. In reality, they were the ones that wanted out the entire time. And when they leave you, Tracy, they got a new woman. Rumored. He goes to Colorado. His money has been re-upped. <laughs> He's getting all these different sponsorship deals, you know, making more money than he was doing at Jackson State. That's a fact. And then this relationship falls apart. I think Tracy gave him an ultimatum and Dion said, you know what? I'm, I'm focusing on coaching right now. I want to be with you, but marriage just not in the cards. And I, I said this, he did not want to marry her. Thank you, prime. What's up, Jay Thomas? Gerald was good. Make sure y'all like the stream. He did not want to get married. He was okay with the way things were right now it doesn't mean that dion doesn't have love for tracy of course he does tracy has supported him you no know, he's going through a lot with his health his career moves she's always been there for him but marriage just wasn't something that he wanted so i could see a situation where D she gave dion an ultimatum and dion said you know what man um I just, I don't see us getting married anytime soon. I don't think that Dion hates her. I don't think that Dion has anything against Tracy. I just think that he said, you know what? I think it's best if we just go in opposite directions. Or maybe she said that. Maybe he gave her the out, right? Because sometimes when you want to break up with somebody, you give them the out. You tell them, I don't know if we can get married right now. I want to marry you. And she said to him, you know what? I'm going to leave. And he's like, okay then. You know what I'm saying? But he's a guy that, that he has, he's, he's ambitious. Say whatever you want about Dion. Dion is very ambitious. But, um, Dion got has been married before. I think he's been married twice. He doesn't want to get married again, at least not right now. So people have to understand that. I, I just think that she was tired of waiting. I think I really do. I think she was tired of waiting. But I'm gonna let's take a look at this uh, this article here. I'm gonna go to what Tracy had to say. I don't know why she even has to say anything. Like people are going to say things. It doesn't mean that you need to respond, but of, of course she's single now. So she wants to control the narrative. These single women want to control the narrative. Shout out to Jay Thomas. 
Dion is on top of his game, like Cam and Mace. Appreciate it. Absolutely. A lot of these these brothers are they're on their they on their A game right now, man. Salute to them. What's up, Leilani? This is what Tracy had to say. It's according to Atlanta Black Star. Deion Sanders' ex fiance Tracy Edmonds, let the world know that she decided to pull the plug on their 12-year relationship amid reports the NFL legend is seeing another woman. On Sunday, the film and television producer shared a message on Instagram clearing up a false narrative. Look at this false narrative BS. What false narrative? Why would you even care? that might be floating around what she should have done was she should have told Dion to say something, but maybe the rumors are true and maybe the rumors are true and Dion couldn't deny what is probably true. I want to clarify that this, that it was my decision to end the relationship despite any different narratives being presented the beginning of Edmund's post read. She continued, I've chosen to prioritize myself and my family moving forward towards a future where I am valued, treated with honesty, and free to embrace the happiness and respect I deserve. So wait a minute here. Stop right here. So are you mean to tell me, Tracy, that Dion didn't value you? He didn't treat you the best? Is that what you're saying? Because that's how this comes off, Tracy. It comes off like you're bitter. Like, what is this? Dion didn't throw you under the bus. He didn't say anything. He, he, he put out a statement that mirrored your statement, but he gave you praise. He didn't throw you under the, the bus, Tracy. Tracy got nervous because she knows that Dion has a new woman. And she's afraid that 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 people are going to see Dion with this new woman and they're going to think that he left Tracy. These women care so much about controlling the narrative. How about you just move on? What happened to just moving on? What happened to valuing your time and energy? Instead of putting up these posts, Tracy, this ain't a good look. Because Dion never threw you under the bus. He never said, I left her. Or there were issues. None of that. But women always got to throw men under the bus after a breakup. Why is that? You think that's going to help you find another man? What man is going to see this and say, you know what? I want to follow that. I want to I want to get with her. I want to follow Dion and get with her because she's just this great woman. But in reality, she just, she couldn't, it's looking like Dion might have left. And you, Dion probably gave you the out to make you believe that you want out the relationship. And you panicked because you know Dion got another woman. <laughs> Her and Dion probably been separated for months. You know what I'm saying? Right before Christmas, y'all break up right before Christmas, y'all been broke up. Because at least... Some couples will try to make it through Christmas, right? Couldn't even wait before Christmas to break up. But you putting out these statements talking about how you want to be valued and treated with honesty. You're dating famous men, ambitious men, men who are about chasing the bag. They're about chasing success. Dion had a very difficult season at, Col uh, at Colorado this year. His first Division I college football coaching job. His focus is, is on that, and maybe she sees that, and she doesn't see a wedding in the future. But why can't women just move on? Why do they have to put it out there that that man might have done something to them? Why? So it's always the man's fault? He didn't value you. He didn't treat you right. Let's look at the rest of this post. She says, I hate to have to respond to the media, but sometimes it's necessary when the falsehoods get out of control. She's more concerned about what the next man is going to think than moving on. Because see, when you're a good woman, Tracy, 
you don't have to go out there and tell the world you're a good woman. People know you're a good woman. But it, it just seems to me that she's more focused on trying to prove she's still a good woman more so than moving on. As of this writing, Edmund's comment section and number of likes are disabled. So she done disabled the comment section and the likes. But Deion Sanders, man, Deion Sanders fan. <laughs> Yo, Deion Sanders fans or something else, man. Like you can't, you say something. Listen, if, if they fans even think, if Dion's fans think that you said anything wayward about him, they're going to go at you mercilessly. They're going to go at you. Her message was obtained by the Jasmine brand whose comment section attempted to interpret a deeper meaning from her post. One person wrote, she said a whole lot without saying a whole lot. Peace and happiness be with you, sis. This was... I guess the statement that they have put out. You used to call me on. I don't know if she's been reading the comments, but Tracy with a simple check my resume post. Like, what is this? Like, what is this? Oh, my God. listen, man. What's wrong with you ladies, man? Y'all can't move on. Nobody's talking about your resume. We're not talking about your credits and the things that you've done in your career, Tracy. You're basically saying that Dion didn't treat you right. That's what you're saying. We 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 know that you've done things you as a producer, right? We know you've done these things, right? Why do you have to tell us this? Is what I want to know. Success is the best revenge, not pettiness. Maybe that's why Dion left. Maybe Dion was like, I can't take this. Whatever's going on, right? Like, seriously. Yeah, she does care more about her image. Because what is this? Is it is it is it a hint of jealousy? She sees everybody talking about Dion. She feels some type of way. A few other commenters said she basically saying that he was a liar who didn't respect her or put her first. And I'm guessing after 10 plus years, he still didn't want to marry her. Tracy, you should have seen this after year two. And D guess N word. She said, value and treat with honesty. Dion got a little too cocky. Dion has always been cocky. <laughs> That's Dion. Dion has been this way since college. Emma's post arrives just as recent rumors claim that Coach Prime left her for a younger fitness model by the name of is it is it Kiana Alves? And this how I pronounce her name. The 40 something year old is a social media influencer and entrepreneur who owns several salons, dry bars, and beauty spas that focus on skincare, hair, and nails. Now, this is what a 40 year old woman looks like nowadays. Y'all remember when, when for, how 40 year old women used to look 20 years ago, 30 years ago? This is how a 40 something year old woman looks like. This is what a 40, this is what a 40 something year old woman looks like nowadays. I can only imagine what the 50 somethings look like. <laughs> you know, listen, it's no shade to her. She seemed like she might be quite a, quite a, you know, interesting character. It is unclear when or where Sanders met the Puerto Rican bombshell, but according to the outspoken social media personality, Tasha K. The head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes is currently dating a Hispanic woman. Sanders and Edmonds confirmed their split in a joint statement shared on Ed Edmonds' page. In their announcement, both the 56-year-olds agreed to move on 
in life as friends while also noting that their choice to separate was made with love in our hearts, respect for each other, and appreciation for the time we shared together. Well, that doesn't seem to be what's going on right now because she seems like she's trying to throw him under the bus. And let's see why. Let's see why. It was because of articles like this from Marka, right? Where it featured this woman that's in the thumbnail, right? This, this is a 40-year-old woman, by the way. This is a woman in her 40s. You know what's crazy? You got some 50-year-old women who look just like this. Yeah, yeah, imagine what the six yeah, the 60 year olds are looking more and more like this. But none of those 60 year old women will ever be Angela Bassett. That's a fact. But with modern surgeries, they trying. This is they're saying that Dion is with her. And that got Tracy in her feels the way she had to make that post. Tracy, that's not a good look, and that's why you had to disable those likes and comments because the Deion Sanders fans are coming at you. When you should have just kept it classy and moved on. Ladies, keep it classy and move on. You're in your 50s. Tracy, you're in your 50s. You don't have to hop on social media and respond to every rumor. You really don't. But that's that's the, that's today's age. You know what I'm saying? They got to get on social media and respond to everything. That's where we are. It's sad, but that's where we are. By the way, again, this is a 40-something-year-old woman. 